So, good morning guys. Ang i-discuss natin ngayon ay mga applications ng derivatives. Derivatives has a lot of application and the first thing or the most common thing is to finding the slope of a curve. So, ano ba kapag sinabi natin slope? Ang slope is a measure of stiffness of a certain curve. So, for example, guys, I have this curve. This is my f of x. This is my function. And given itong point na to, hk, or kung hindi kayo sanay, xy, I can find the slope here. So, how are we going to find the slope? Do not forget that slope is, dun, da, is denoted by small letter M. Again, measure of stiffness. Okay? Going back to analytic geometry, slope is defined as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 if you are given two points. But this is only applicable in straight lines or first degree equations. Pero, at the same time, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, diba y2 minus y1, you are getting the change in x, or change in y rather, so that is delta y, and this one is delta x. Okay, so kung ganyan pala guys, Delta y or change in y is simply dy and change in x is simply dx. So, meron tayong derivative of y with respect to x or simply this is the first derivative of your equation. So, this is f prime of x or simply y prime. So, ang slope pala bukod sa formula na to at bukod dito ay makikita natin siya yung first derivative ng isang equation. At the same time, this is the tangent theta. Analytic geometry ulit. So, bukod sa measure ng stiffness, this is also defined as the first derivative of an equation. Okay? Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan na, this is the first derivative of any equation. That is your slope. So, dito ay ikot yung first application natin ng derivative. So, as of now, please copy your notes. Okay guys, so I have two problems here and we were asked to find its slope. So again, do not forget the definition of slope that it is the stiffness of the curve or simply it is defined as the first derivative of the curve. So we're gonna differentiate this equation and let's see what we're gonna do next. So given that f of x is 3x squared minus x plus 1, using the basic differentiation formula, f prime of x is equal to, di ba, bababa yung 2, 3x2 minus 1. Derivative of x is simply 1. Derivative of constant is 0. So, kung isi-simplify ko po ito, this is equal to 6x minus 1. So, this is my f prime of x, or ano nga ang first derivative natin? At the same time, that is your slope m. So, given that the slope is equal to 6x minus 1, so let us find the slope using this point. Do not forget, this is denoted as h or k or simply the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So since x to, kumuha tayo kung alin dito yung x, which is 1. So this is equal to 6 times 1 minus 1, or simply your slope is equal to 5. Okay? Explain ko lang ulit. Given this is the equation, pag pinapahanap yung slope, kuhain yung first derivative natin. So, kapag dinifferentiate ko to magiging 6x minus 1. Ano nga ang first derivative? Sa din yung slope natin. Okay? And to get the numerical value of slope, you have to find the number or you have to substitute a number for this variable. Saan ka kukuha ng number na pang-substitute mo? 
eh, doon po sa point na binigay sa atin. Okay? At kapag ginawa ko yun, makukuha ko na ang slope ko ay equal sa 5. Okay? So, you have to know or you should have a familiarization with the formulas of differentiation para sa mga trigonometric, inverse trigonometric, sa hyperbolic, logarithmic, exponential kasi it will be hard for you to differentiate kung hindi mo po alam yung formulas natin. Okay? So, moving on to the second problem, we have x e raised to x plus 2 at 0, 2. Kung titignan mo, x e raised to x, ba? This is product. You have u and you have v. At kung gusto mong kuhain ang derivative niyan, that is simply u dv plus v du. Okay? So, given that u is equal to x, the derivative of u is simply equal to, yes, positive 1. Okay? And then, given that v is equal to e raised to x, recall natin, na kung binigyan tayo ng e raised to u, at i-derivative natin yan, that is equals to e raised to u times du over dx. Okay? So, sa scenario natin, dv is equals to e raised to u, so e raised to x, times anong derivative ng x? 1. Okay? So, this is equals to e raised to x. So, to get f prime of x, derivative ng x e raised to x, so that's u dv plus v du, so x times e raised to x, plus v, which is e raised to x, times du, which is 1. Derivative ng 2, 0. So, hindi ko na lang ilagay dito. So, as you can see, meron tayong x e raised to x plus e raised to x. So, that is your f prime of x. So, this is the first derivative of your equation and at the same time, this is your slope. So, let us find the numerical value of slope using this point 0, 2. So, again, this is the h, this is the k, or simply the x coordinate and the y coordinate. Okay? So, m is equals to x, so that is a 0, e raised to 0, plus e raised to 0. So, this is already 0. Any number raised to 0 is equal to? Hmm? 2, 1. So, your slope is equal to 1. Okay? So, yan na po ang way ng pagkuha natin ng slope. Again, get the first derivative. After getting the first derivative, that is already your slope. But you have to get the numerical value of slope. How to get the numerical value? You need to have a point. Okay? And then, yan na. Okay? So, as simple as that. So, copy your notes. Hello guys! So, I have here more examples for the application of derivatives specifically on finding the slope. Okay guys, paulit-ulit, nire-recall ko sa inyo that the slope m is the first derivative of any function. So, given that f of x is sine 2x minus cosine x, let us determine the slope at x equal to 5. So, hanapin ko muna si f prime of x. So, anong derivative ng sine 2x? Cosine 2x. Then, huwag kakalimutan, i-differentiate ko din yung loob or yung angle natin. Anong derivative ng 2x? 2. Minus, derivative ng cosine is negative sine x. Okay? Kung isisimplify ko to, this is equal to 2 cosine 2x minus, minus, tapos minus ulit, e di plus sine x. So, that is already our f prime of x or simply, that is our slope. And then, ano daw yung slope natin at x equal to 5? Or simply, f 
prime of pi. So, isasubstitute ko lang yung pi sa lahat ng x. 2 cosine 2 times pi plus sine pi. Okay? Kung gusto mo itong pindutin sa calculator mo, make sure na ikaw ay nasa radians. Bakit po? Kasi yung angle natin is in radian. So, that is equal to 2 cosine 2 pi plus sine pi. So, your f prime of pi is equal to 2. And at the same time, that is also your slope. So, our final answer is that m equal to 2. Okay? Next example. Given that f of x is x squared ln of x, let us find the slope at x equal to e. Kung you observe natin to guys, example, we have u and you have a v. So, para makuha ang f prime of x, kailangan mong u dv plus v du. So, your u is x squared. Your du is equal to 2x. And then, your v is ln of x. Recall, na kung nagdi-differentiate tayo ng ln of u, that is equal to 1 over u times du dx. So, this is equal to 1 over x times derivative of x, which is just 1. Hindi ko na yun ilalagay dito. Okay? So, f prime of x is equal to is equal to u dv plus v du. Your u is x squared. dv is 1 over x plus v, which is ln of x, times du, which is 2x. So, makakansel lang yung x doon dahil may x squared tayo sa taas. So, matitira is x plus ln of x. I'm sorry. x plus 2x ln of x. Okay? So, meron na tayong f prime of x. Eh, at x equals i daw. Eh, di papaltan lang natin yung i ng mga, ay yung mga x ng i. So, f prime of i is equal to i plus... 2e, loan of e. Loan of e is just 1. So, meron ka ditong e plus 2e. This is equal to 3e. F prime of e. And ano nga ang first derivative natin? Yun din po ang ating slope. So, for this problem, m is equal to 3e. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, ginagamit pa din natin yung mga dati nating formulas. Okay? So, third problem, given that the equation is y squared minus 3y minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0, find the m or the slope at point 0, 2. So, kung i-observe mo yung equation natin, ito ay isang implicit function. At kung meron tayong implicit function, ang ating pag-differentiate ay implicit din. Okay? So, y squared minus 3y minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay? So, i-differentiate ko. Anong, differenti anong derivative ng y squared implicit? That is equal to 2y, y prime, minus. Derivative ng negative 3y is negative 3. Pero, di-differentiate ko ang y. Lagyan ko na y prime. Minus, derivative ng negative 2x squared, that is 4x. Derivative ng negative 5x, that is negative 5 equal to 0. And then, we have to evaluate this at point 0, 2. Do not forget that this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate. Or simply, this is h and this is k. Okay? So, 2y, your y is 2, y prime, minus 3y prime, minus 4, what is x? 0. Minus 5 equal to 0. So, meron tayong 4y prime, minus 3y prime, minus 5 equal to 
0. So, 4y prime minus 3y prime is simply y prime equals to transpose ko positive 5. So, y prime is positive 5. And kung tatandaan nyo, recall that the first derivative is also the slope of the of that function. So, from this problem, m is equal to 5. So, as you can see, hindi lang pala sa pagdi-differentiate explicitly, makakakuha ka din ng slope sa pagdi-differentiate implicitly. Basta binigay sa iyo yung point, may hk ka or xy, makukuha mo ang numerical value ng iyong slope. So, it is as easy as that. So, copy your notes. Okay, so I have here a worded problem. If the slope of the curve f of x is equal to ax cubed minus 4x squared plus 2 at x equals 1 is 4, find a. Sabi, Meron tayong equation at ang slope down nito ay 4 kapag ang x ay 1, hanapin daw natin ang a. So, do not forget again that the slope is the first derivative of your function. So, pwedeng dun ka magsimula. m is equal to f prime of x. So, i-differentiate ko po ito. So, magiging 3ax squared Bababa lang si 3, babawasan mo ng isa si 3 dahil bumaba. Minus 8x. So, that is your f prime of x na. Si f prime of x nga daw ay si slope. Sabi, kapag ang x natin ay 1, ang slope daw natin ay 4. Okay? Kapag daw ang x natin ay 1, so 3a, 1 squared, minus 8 times 1. So, pinasok ko si 1. Ano daw magiging slope natin? 4. So, meron ka ditong 3a equal to 4 plus 8 equal to 12. 12 divided by 3, a is equal to 4. So, ganun lang. Kadali. Okay? Ganun lang po. Gusto nyo mag-backsub or na ang um, mag-backsub. Gusto nyo i-check. Diba, f prime of x is 3ax squared minus 8x. So, given that f prime of x is 3ax squared minus 8x, i-substitute natin ang a doon. So, 3 times 4, x squared minus 8x. So, this is equal to 12x squared minus 8x. And then, ano daw slope kapag 1? Dapat 4. So, f prime of 1. So, that is 12, 1 squared minus 8 times 1. So, 12 minus 8 is 4. So, tama na ang value ng A natin ay 4. So, ganun lang po. Chinect lang natin. Okay? So, copy your notes. So, next problem naman, guys. If the slope of the curve f of x equal to ax squared minus bx plus 1 at point 0.14 is a, find a and b. So, binigyan tayo ng slope na a at slope daw ito kapag ang point natin ay 1 tsaka 4. So, this is x, this is y. Okay? So, begin, di ba ang f of x, di ba y lang din naman yun? So, that is equal to ax squared minus bx plus 1. So, substitute natin, y is 4. 4 equal to a, what is x? 1. Minus b times 1 plus 1. So, kung itatranspose ko ito papunta doon, meron akong a minus b equal to 3. 
So, meron tayong equation number 1. Saan ako kukuha ng second equation? Doon ako kukuha sa fact that the first derivative is the slope. Kasi may binanggit tayo ditong slope po. So, y is equal to ax squared minus bx plus 1. y prime is equal to 2ax minus b plus 1. So, y prime is equal to m also. So, ano daw yung slope natin? 8. So, 8 equal to 2a. What is x? 1. Minus b plus 1. So, kung isasub sa akong isimplify ko to, meron akong 2a minus b equal to 7. So, equation number 2. And then, you have a minus b equal to 3. 2a minus b equal to 7. So, you have two equations to unknown. Ano po yung pipindutin natin sa calculator? Lalo na kung 991 ES yan, tsaka 570. Press mode. And then, 5 or simply equation. And then, piliin mo yung option 1. Yung a a sub n x plus b y equal c n so check mo a n x plus b y equal c n ok so option 1, pasok mo lang di ba 1 a yun tsaka 1 b 2 a 1 b so 1 equals negative 1 equals 3 equals tapos second line 2 equals negative 1 equals 7 equals. And then, para makuha mo yung dalawang values, a and b, press equal. Yung una lumabas ay a, equal sa 4. Yung pangalawang lumabas ay b, equal naman yun sa 1. So, you could also simplify this two equation by the use of algebra. Um, but, may calcul naman tayo, so calcul na lang. So, copy your notes.